as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines. All right, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine Hunty, you can go ahead and get at it because this reading right now is not for you. Feminine, who has their eye on you, girl? We have New Love and Secret Crush. Ooh. All right, so let us see. What are the messages that spirit has here for you on today? Someone is like, the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is greener where you water it. Amen. All right. So let us see. What are the messages here for our feminines? What do they need to know? We have spiritual awakening. Family. Between the lines, wedding, heartbreak, addiction, date, and breakup. Underlying energy here is storm warning, okay? I feel someone is coming back they're coming back because it's time okay this could be someone that you wanted to work something out with before they maybe didn't want to work things out with you or maybe they were in a situation where they couldn't work things out with you either way it goes this person has been battling some things healing from some things and thinking back okay now that this person is going through a spiritual awakening they're thinking back and they're seeing the hidden meaning of certain certain things okay spirit has pointed so much out to this person since the two of you have been in separation okay they're now seeing the truth of this connection they're now seeing the truth of whatever this addiction was they're seeing the truth or have saw the truth of the third party there's so many different things that are going on all at the same time this storm warning it says upheaval obstacle wrecking ball drama so there's a lot going on okay quite a bit Then this person on your side of things wants for you to know what's been happening. Wants for you to know what they've been dealing with, what they've been going through. Okay? This person feels like you're their soulmate and there's unfinished business here. Okay. They're nervous to come to you and discuss these things, but they feel like they have to because if they don't, then they feel they'll miss their opportunity to do so. So let us see what are the messages here for our feminines take what resonates with you leave what doesn't all right we have six of wands something coming to someone's awareness something being or haven't been a challenge but it gets easier over time three of pentacles okay wants to work with you now Page of Wands, now this person is putting forth action, energy, effort. You don't believe them. Yeah, Seven of Swords, you think they're lying. <laughs> Four of Cups. You don't want this offer that they're giving you because you don't believe them. It came out of nowhere. Just that this person started to see the truth of things after the fact. Yeah, the Tower. Okay, there it is. All right, that's that Wrecking Ball energy. Eight of Pentacles. Now they want to put in the work. Okay. They want to put the work in. It just keeps coming up like this. Hard working energy, diligent energy. When they have a plan, they want to follow it through. All right. Again, with the divine timing. So if you say, well, why now? Because it's meant to happen right now. Seven of cups. Some of you may be really confused about this. You don't understand why this person would do it this way or why they would have gone about it this way. But again, they had to go through life lessons. They had to experience certain things to know what it is that they truly wanted or what it is that they truly deserve. All right, so let us see. Let's get a little bit more here. Six of Wands. Success after having gone through challenges and obstacles. What is it? Five of Cups. Something in the past. Okay, so just bring into your awareness how they feel about you. All right, the unfinished business aspect of things, you know. Nine of Wands. But because of everything I've gone through, you know, I may not want to bring forth my baggage and everything I have going on. So this could also be why some things have been at a standstill, why this person has not come towards you and expressed what it is that they're feeling. Three of Wands, but they have every intention on doing that. 
when the time is right. Six of Pentacles because they feel like they want to give and take with you equally. Okay, in the past, this person could have, like I said, you know, kept secrets or whatever. It's where now you don't believe them. Person come back and say, hey, Ten of Pentacles, I want to build with you. You're going to think Seven of Swords, they full of crap. Ten of Swords, they're going to betray me again. They're going to hurt me again. They're going to let me down. Something along the line. All right, hurt, betrayal, grief, disappointment. Yeah, so you don't believe it. Okay, so let us see. <clears throat> yeah, okay, but... Your intuition is telling you that this person is going through some sort of spiritual awakening. The Eight of Cups, spiritual quest, okay, Ten of Pentacles. So when they come to you again and they say this, you're not going to believe them, but they do mean it and they are being sincere. King of Cups. All right, they're being very sincere, very genuine what it is that they're saying. All right, this person, they may come across as immature sometimes or may be petty with the way that they do things, the way they operate, okay? You may not always favor or like that with the Five of Swords. That could be why it comes off as Seven of Swords. But even if their intentions are good, doesn't mean that they move accordingly. But with the Chariot being here, I feel like they're going to move better moving forward. <laughs> All right, if they really want to see something progress with you or if they really want to see something happen with you, yeah, we got the Lover sticking his head out. Sun card, Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, King of Cups, Star card, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, so many good things. If they want those good things with you, they're going to have to move different. That's what I feel this person is realizing, okay? So if you haven't been talking to them, seeing them, dealing with them, this person has been kind of restless. Been going back and forth with, you know, just being in a dark space. You bring some sort of light to this person's world. I'm sure you feel the same way. Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups. As I said, I'm sure you feel the same way. They love you. You love them just as deep. I'm sure you don't like being without them either. But you wouldn't want to be lied to, betrayed, let down, disappointed. You know, who would? So, yeah, we got the Fool card. We got the Nine of Pentacles. you like, of course, I would love a brand new beginning. But if I have to choose having one by myself, that's fine as well. I don't want hurt. I don't want pain. I don't want depression. I don't want anxiety. I don't, you know what I mean? Why, why have all of that when... That's unnecessary. <laughs> you know, it's unnecessary. So yeah, we got spirit stepping in. <laughs> spirit stepping in here with um, temperance, okay? I also get this energy here where this is a weird message and it may not resonate with all of you, but take it as it does, okay? I'm getting this message here where some of your person or some of your people may have been trying to like take you off on purpose or see how you are when you are I don't know, feeling away. But with that temperance energy, nine of pentacles, fool card, I feel like you're just renewed. You get what I'm saying? You're renewed. You're a new person. Maybe once upon a time, there was part to you that was bad, you know, or go zero to a hundred instantly or something. But where you are now, how you are now, the way you move is totally different. Again, you know, you never know what a person had to go through for them to get to a place where they are so calm, you know, what did they experience that they got to that place of having been, you know, having been that calm? What what got them there, you know? So some of you used to be that wrecking ball yourselves, you know, and you calm down. You're not going to let anything take you backwards. That's what I'm getting. So with the seven of cups and the moon, again, dreams. Somebody could be seeing something in their dreams or having visions, nine of cups, you know, that they're going to get what they want. This could be you. You could just know that you're going to get what you want in that in advance, you know, like you just know already that you're going to get what you want or something. Okay. Knight of Cups. Yeah. Commitment, dedication. All right. The world card, the world card is like truth ending. Okay. Something is ending here. You're traveling. All right. They're traveling, coming towards you again. We got breakup. So something ended in order for somebody to be able to move forward. Okay. Chariot and the world. Somebody could actually be moving. All right, moving or just simply moving on. We got nine of cups, though. Again, with fulfillment, heart's desires. So with the seven of pentacles, yes, yeah, this person, this emperor wants to invest. Okay, they had to choose. They had to pick or choose. They want to invest because they feel like there's unfinished business. Okay. Person feels like there is unfinished business and they want to see what it's about. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Let's get more. Let's get more. <clears throat> Alrighty. For our feminines. Thank you, spirit. What are the messages? For our feminines. Thank you, spirits. 
messages. All right, wait a minute. Yeah, this person could have been going through some sort of court situation. Okay, we got court paperwork filed. All right. So I could have been dealing with some paperwork, cunty. Okay, something going on there. Ooh, we have escapade. Okay, escapade on the table. Obsession. Okay. Twin flames. Waves. Desire. Searching. Okay, drama queen. Underlying energy is poison, and we have unconditional here. All right, so there's unconditional love. All right, so unconditional, and we saw poison. All right. Again, the fact that this person is going through some sort of separation or breakup, I'm going to go with is from this drama queen. All right, somebody could be online searching for information on you. Could be this person because they know that your twin has this like obsession with you, where they feel like they love you, they gotta have you. You know, there is desire, like lust, sexual chemistry, and there's genuine love here between you and this person. They want to make an offer to you, a proposal, or have some sort of commitment with you. They want to see you, okay? So we got vacation, hideaway, adventure, and do something that maybe only the two of you know about. You're not really discussing with everybody. This could be something that because of you knowing about this person, you tried to push the feelings away, but you just can't. Or this person wants for you to, but it just is too strong or something like that. Okay. Let us see. <clears throat> you got the three of swords and the king of wands. All right. So somebody's going to come towards you and take action because they really don't want to be blocked out of your life. Five of pentacles, you know, three of cups. This person feels like the two of you really get along and they enjoy spending time with you they enjoy being with you around you talking to you okay prince disc i feel like queen disc okay you and this person both feel you can depend on each other princess disc there's a lot of stable energy here you both feel like you could depend on each other ace of cups so they know you love them and you know that they love you so it's genuine it's true it's certain on both ends yeah we got the seven of pentacles this is why they want to invest okay this is also why maybe some people are feeling away towards you right now seven of wands all right you may have some you know attack coming from the shadows or something like that okay we got the ace of cups because it is offered it's proposal that's been made to you okay let us see we have here yeah king of wands okay could be aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be all right, fool card. Yeah, there's a brand new beginning. All right, brand new beginning for a start. King of Cups, okay? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody that just loves you a lot. Again, the chariot wanting to move forward. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could depend on me. I could depend on you. I know this. You know what I mean? This is why this person wants a brand new beginning. So let us see. <clears throat> Five of Wands, outside interference. The drama that you're going to overcome is from this person. You have the will of fortune. All right. Yeah, this is a destined connection. Justice. Things will work out in your favor. Or the scales of justice are being tipped in your favor. We have the star card. You are divinely protected from all nonsense, all drama. You're the hierophant. All right. For a lot of you, you already know this. The person you're going to marry, the one you're meant to be with. This is the one that you have taken this pledge. It's oath with. We have the hermit. All right. Um, this is wisdom. All right. I feel like your person is finally ready to apply the wisdom that they have to this connection. Yeah, three of pentacles, that's the plan. You know, work with you instead of against you. Queen of swords. This person feels like you're very no-nonsense. You mean what you say, and you say what you mean. And they respect that. This is why they want to invest, okay? This person is somebody, like I said, I know I can trust them, all right? So they're trying to free themselves from this low vibrational energy of this karmic, this drama queen. All right, we have death here. That's an ending, okay? Yeah, ending with the karmic, okay? This person could be fighting a lot right now, arguing a lot, going back and forth with this person, just going through it, okay? And all because what? <clears throat> so that's how they feel. We have the two of swords. This person is ready to lead by faith and come towards you for this ten of pentacles, all right? Spirit keeps guiding them towards you. They said, okay, I'm ready to start this new contract, princess swords. All right, I'm ready to start this new contract. This person is very curious about you. All right, and they know that things are going to go smoothly because you want what they want, they want what you want, something like that. All right, it's a two way street. So we have the princess swords, yep. 
and then the lovers. Mm -hmm. I'm interested about this contract that I have with my soul counterpart, my spirit spouse. Okay, that's what I want to know. I want to know how can we get to this Ten of Pentacles, Six of Cups, you know, having children, having a family, having a life, building together. All right, that's what they want, their divine counterpart. All right, this person is really, truly in love. <clears throat> Mm. Okay. Yeah, we got death, the ending again. Okay. The Empress. Okay. Divine feminine energy. The moon. We all have our best guides within us. If only we would listen. All right. Mm, the Emperor. The Emperor. <laughs> the Empress. Transformation, change, double emphasis on that, okay? The moon, okay. So trusting our intuition to lead us home, all right? There's, you know, somebody that watches you, that sees you, that knows about you, okay? That knows about this love between you and this person, but there's more than enough to celebrate, more than enough reason to celebrate, okay? Mm -hmm. The chariot. Things are going to move forward and progress. The two of you are going to be having a good old time. Look, usually the chariot has one person on it, but it's two people here. Okay? So that should tell you something. Yeah. All right. Two of hearts. Finding a place for everything. Okay? Everything has a place. This person feels like you belong in their life. Yeah, you. Okay? You may have to forgive them for something. They may have to forgive you for something. Oh, we got message of forgiveness. Children. All right, let us see. Thank you, spirit. We have calm. See, <laughs> they may be like, um, thought it was too good to be true because you're always so calm. They were used to dealing with that drama queen. You're calm because you've been through so much and it's just no point in doing all that. Giving your energy to the wrong things for what? When you understand energy, you understand true currency, you know better, you do better. And I just want to give that power away to every little thing. Yeah, we have source. When you are fully tapped into source, you understand the responsibility that comes with that. You're not just going to give that away. <laughs> you know? Burden of tears. You know, you're sad. You've cried. You've been hurt about this situation. That doesn't mean you're going to snap or flip out. Yeah, we have help. Okay. You always seem to be there for your person whenever they need you and vice versa. And we have secrets. I feel like this person can come to you with their secrets. We did see the moon twice. Yeah, we got anger. And that could be a secret. That's something that you don't know. This person has done things sometimes to try to see if, you know, you would react a certain way. How do you get when you're angry? Because this person, this drama queen has done so much. And they, they just, they got to see, you know, what's your worst like? Because this person has done the worst to them. You know what I mean? So you're like, what's your worst like? You like this, you know, what you see is what you get. Like I said earlier, so because they know that, they see that, they continue to get that, they really do appreciate that, okay? Like, you guys got to understand, this twin flame love is different, all right? So I pray that this helps you. I know that it will. If this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and have a